Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are going to teach you about UTI that is the urinary tract infection with a handwritten note and a flowchart. Hope you all like this video. UTI, urinary tract infection, it's the most important question for from microbiology in renal portion. It's, uh, as I can see, it is a sure short question for the university exam from renal portion of microbiology. Now here we are going to discuss the UTI from infection. First definition, UTI defined as the microbial invasion of any tissue of the urinary tract from the renal cortex to the urethral meatus including the prostate and the epidermis. Now causative orga organism of UTI, cystitis is caused by the E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, prostate species. Now prostatitis is caused by the E. coli. Cornobacterium species, urethritis is caused by the E. coli, Streptococcus species. Now, predisposing uh, factor of UTI. First is age. Incidence increases with the age. Six more in female because it is a viva question. Why it is common in female? That is because of closely proximity of urethral to anus, and there is infection of vagina flow during the sexual intercourse. Now. Uh, now catheterization and surgery. Uh, last one is a loss of neurological control on a bladder and splinter. Here we have completed uh, completed our the predisposing factor of UTI. Uh, now, <coughs> now laboratory diagnosis. It is the question for IOM in Nepal. Now in uh, laboratory diagnosis, it includes the specimen transport medium. Then after uh, process uh, processing, uh, there is some topics which include in, uh, in which include in the uh, laboratory diagnosis. Here we can discuss one by one. First is specimen. In a specimen, uh, uh, how to take a specimen? First we will take midstream urine. Second one will take the catheter urine, uh, cathode, cathode urine specimen. Third one will take the suprapubic aspirate mainly in the infant and the Pregnant woman. Now, midstream urine collection. It will, be, it will ask the question in IOM Nepal. So we can see over here. What is midstream urine? It is obtained after boiling the first part of urine. It's called a midstream urine. In males, how how we can collect this? In first, in male, uh, glands of penis is cleaned with soap and water, and the area is dried with a clean cloth. First part of urine is boiled, and second part is collected in a sterile white mouth container. In female, vulva is washed with soap and water in anterior posteriorly motion. Motion area is dried with uh, and uh, two levia are separated with two finger. First part of urine is voided and the second part is collected in sterile white mouth container. Now we have completed our specimen portion. Now transport medium. After collection of specimen, we have to transport. How? In, for the if it is the process if the processing is delayed, the following media can be used for transport. That is a 1.8 percent boric acid and sodium chloride. Now processing. Processing include the microscopic examination. Microscopic examination shows the partial chemical test like catalyst test, grease nitrate test, triphenyl tetrajoline test. Microscopic examination. Microscopic examination include the weight mount preparation in turn for the flowing cases. Post cell is uh, five, uh, more than 5 post cell are seen. Blood cell represent the hematuria. Cast cell represent the kidney damage. Crystals include the indicate the calculi. If they else include the inflammation of unit tract. Now, uh, uh, culture. We have completed the microscopic and uh, microscopic. Now, culture. Media used are the CLED, crystalline lactose, electrolyte agar, McConkey agar, and the blood agar. Now, method of incoloration. Incol in, uh, incoloration. Um, quantity method is the poor plate method and the Split plate method, semi quantity method are the standard loop method. The loops would be 4 mm filter paper method and the deep side method. Biochemical test include the catalase and last one is antibiotic sensitive test is stroke and the carbine method. Now last one is our indication reporting. How to report? If the if the bacteria is less than 10 to power 4 bacteria per ml of urine, that is not significant. Okay. If the bacteria is 10 to power 4 to 25 bacteria per ml of urine, that is doubtful. We can repeat the test. 
if the bacteria tend to provide five bacteria per ml of urine, it is significant bacteremia. You can see it is a UTI. So here we have completed our the UTI portion. It's a mostly frequently and much more important topic for the microbiology trailer portion. Please do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.